Hello everybody, I was just about to start packing um, this away after showing you the lovely wedding dress um, and I've still got my work in that underneath to go on with my cover um, but because I was out most of the week I did call in a couple of op shops also and found a couple of little bits and I thought I'd share those because I want to put them away uh, there we go sorry my camera was flashing something okay so the first thing I found was this little box of goodies here it did have tape around the center because the box is actually all broken it was two dollars and it's called little craft box but I loved these little flowers that are on top there they're really pretty so I got those and there's also these little um i think these are fabric little ribbon flowers as well were in there a bag full of uh, beaded trim these i they're the same as those but they've been stitched onto all these little corners look at that so those, there's a couple of little flowers in there as well, some iridescent ones. There's also these fabric pieces. I'd say they may have come off uh, either sleeves or, oh, well, they're only like that wide. Oh, actually, it could have come off the bottom of a slip or something. That could be the front and that one could be the back. I love these little blue applique pieces in there. They're just lovely. So that was nice. And these were all in this box. So, um, of course, the blue caught my eye. So there's those two. There's a little bit of this. It's non-stretchy. It just looks like it might have come off a chocolate box or something because there's also a little gold bow. And there's another one of those flowers. There's some sequins. Um, I love these ones. Look at those. There's beads in there as well. They're beautiful. Really beautiful. There's also the silver and the blue and the gold. I think I may send those ones back to the uh, op shop for somebody else to find because they're not really my style. Uh, I do have some this colour already, so I think they will go back to the shop for somebody else and I'll keep those ones. And then there was this in there, and this is a bag and it's called The Horn Shop. And I did go online to have a little look, where's that bit of paper, and printed it out. It's a, uh, okay, here we go, source for horn, uh, The Horn Shop, it's in Windermere. Uh, or it used to be in Windermere, I think. I think it's closed now. Yeah, I think it's closed now. Um, and all the products there used to be made from horn. So, animal horn. <laughs> so this is what was in there. Um, buttons. So they're made out of horn. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, but they're nice, they're interesting, and it's a it's a nice kind of find. There's also some really nice quality thread in there as well, which I'm always happy to find. So that was the first thing I bought, and I love the little bag. I may iron that up and you know use that in something. I really do like the little bag that it came in. So that's the first thing, and it's always nice to know um, where something comes from. So, uh, and I didn't, you know, I didn't know about that before. The second thing I found was a little vintage uh, picture. That's that one there. It's a lovely little Italian picture. Really cute. Thought it would make a lovely little pin cushion. I love small things like this. So that was nice. And that was $4 that. But I, it's very hard. Um, very heavy. Sorry. It's bronze. And it does have a stamp at the bottom there. It says Italy uh, 95 to 100. So um, that was like, nice to find. 
then the next thing I found was a set of curtains and they're only like cafe curtains there's the top there's the bottom but it's really pretty lace which is a little bit unusual here in Australia um, it's really really quite pretty that's the that's the pattern you can see that it's really quite nice very nice quality so that was the that was one that's the other so it's just like a set of small curtains so that was nice and they were only I think about two dollars for those um, I found a set of bridge score cards I I have previously found where are they in here? Well, a year or so ago I found bridge scorers as well like that oh that one's got scribble on it um like that and I have used them in my journals um and so it was really nice to find two of these ones and they're nice to have in journals as tags and things as well and I love this kind of um Florentine type of style as well so that was nice to find and I think the two of those were a dollar I got a piece of felt and I got this for free because that was all I got scrap and I got this because um, if I recall a couple of weeks ago now Chrissy Crosser was showing some little embellishments she made and I think she made them from felt or something like that and I don't really have felt scrap so it's it's not actually felt I don't think but it, it looks and feels like it and it's really thick and it doesn't really fray that much so <laughs> um, I got that and I also got a, a nice tablecloth a nice linen tablecloth like that there you go and they're always nice to have even just to throw down over my desk that's really nice and it doesn't really have any stains or anything on it and I got that for four dollars and then lastly I got a bag oh no not lastly second lastly I got this one as well this is a roll of contact paper I love the blues there's a couple of marks on it down here but I think I've got a couple of boxes that I'd like to cover and I just love that isn't it pretty and great for in journals and things too it is contact paper um, but you can make a tag and cover the you know paper with this sort of thing and that was 50 cents so that was nice and then lastly I got this little bag it's a like a mother of pearl chipped shell type purse it's really really quite pretty with the handles and um, that's what it's like inside and that was three dollars and I, I looked and I thought oh, I like the look of the shell but I thought what am I going to do with that and then I thought oh that's a perfect journal cover look at that it's just absolutely perfect to take these bits off like that take those out off here and you have a book cover a perfect shell book cover so that's what I'm going to be doing with this I think that's going to be really nice and then these I can use for hangers on wall hangings and things like that as well so that was three dollars and that is my little uh, thrifting haul for this month I guess yeah yeah for the whole of May I would say Okay, thank you for watching everybody. Take care. I'm off to dismantle a wedding dress and I have to make, um, I've offered to make, to recover a chair for my daughter and I may take photos of that as I'm doing it on the, uh, along the way and share that with you once that's finished as well. Okay, it's an armchair so it's a bigger project. So take care, have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.